Brothers, what's happening? It's not every day that I get to do a recorded video. Excuse the wind in the background. We got a bit of a storm <laughs> right now. Um, where I'm at, it still stays cold around April. But um, aside from all that, I got a little experience that I would like to share with you. And um, this was not that long ago. Um, this was a day ago, last night from this recording. And um, I had uh, myself and uh, my friend, we had went and we went to the bar to have some drinks. And um, we went to this one bar and it's a really tiny bar. Everybody's really packed in and closed in and shit like that. And, you know, there, you know, there, there was some degree of people there. You know, there was a lot of people there. Let me just say it like that. There was a lot of people there and um, it was really crowded. And so I went into that bar and uh, this friend of mine, he sees his um, co-worker. Now, he's trained this co-worker, taught this guy everything he knows, and and all of that good shit. But now his co-worker, the guy he's trained, the guy is starting to, you know, assert his dominance to my best friend and everything. And it, it wasn't cool, you know? Now, I don't know what the details of their conversation was... But I said all that to set the scene for you. So I arrived there. I get there. And um, he's talking to this, you know, he's talking to his co-worker and everything. And, you know, asserting his dominance. There go his ego and all of that bullshit. And so I go in. Uh, by the time I arrive... I had seen this character in the corner of my eye just staring with a mean mug expression. You know, those, you know, those uh, pseudo intimidating expressions that someone would have before a fight goes down. And so I seen this and I'm like, I don't like the dude. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I don't like the looks of this dude. This doesn't look right. And let me go ahead and stand between him and my best friend before this character starts to do some stupid shit like hit my best friend and everything, right? And so what I did was stand in, you know, in between them. Now, this is a really crowded bar, mind you. And so I'm all, while I'm doing this, here's my intention. I know it's a crowded bar. This is my situational awareness in play. Y'all know this is a crowded bar. I know, you know, this guy is right here and my best friend is on, you know, in front of me. And I don't want to start. I don't want anything to go down. I don't want anything to start while I'm here. You know, because you never know. Uh, My best friend's co-worker could have more than just this guy mean mugging him. Mean mugging my best friend. He could have, you know, two other people involved. And, and, you know, they might want to jump up and do some bullshit to my best friend. And so I'm doing this. And then we end up in the front of the bar to have a smoke. And my best friend gets pretty sore at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't step in front of me ever again, is what he said. And I'm like, no, dude, I'm going to step in front of you no matter what. And I'll do it again. Because here's my intentions and my reasoning. Look, I, and then I let him know why I did it. You know, I stepped in front of you, man, because some shit was about to go down. And I did not want that going down right here, right now. You know, and, you know, he's pretty much stuck to his guns, was still angry at me and shit about me doing it. But, Again, I let him know my reasoning. I mean, I'm going to do it again. And if you hit me, then that's what it is, bro. If you're going to hit me right in my face, then okay. 
No, man, I'm going to step in front of you no matter what. You know, especially in a situation like this. Because, you know, even though, you know, he was full of drinks. And, um, yeah, I was a little tipsy myself. But I was starting to sober up by then. And so I was like, no, man, mm mm-mm. I, if you're gonna hit me, then oh well. Then you just hit me, then, bro. Number two, you know, if that guy that's ha- that you're about to fight with hits me, then okay, it's on. You know, then that's his ass. All right. You know, I did that for the sole purpose of of us not getting into some shit. You know, why ruin a great, already great night by some shit like this? And, um, you know, he starts getting in his ego and all of this shit. And and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about all of that. I've known you longer than everyone in this town. And I don't want you going into no bullshit. And so a few, an hour or two later, we get, we finally get over to his house And um, I continue, you know, he's taught me how to play chess. And I play chess now. I mean, I never did this shit as a kid. But I'm like, dude, you taught me how to play chess. You know, you got to play the long game in situations like this. So what? Yeah, he is your co-worker. So what? You taught him everything he knows. So what? He's acting like an idiot nowadays. But to do this at the bar? Nah, there are other ways to do this. You taught me how to play chess play the long game with this guy, you know, because, uh, you're gonna get a moment alone with him, and when that does happen, you know, do your worst, but keep in mind, you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, you're at work, and shit like that, but, um, I told this little story, I know I was going all over the place, but I'm not really a good storyteller, but I went all over the place with this story, just to tell you this, men, when you're out, with your friends and and your friend, one of your friends is, you know, full of drinks and, um, you know, their ego takes over as well as the alcohol, you know, keep your friend from getting into some bullshit. Now, if some shit is being started, you know, if someone is um, antagonizing your friend, then, you know, defend yourself at all costs at that point. But, you know, if it's a situation like the one I've described, don't let your friend get into no bullshit, bro. And um, take care of your homies. Take care of your friends when you're out and about. All right. Well, I think that'll do it. I'm going to go on out here to work. It's that time. Well, you enjoy yourselves safely and responsibly, fellas. Love you much. Peace.